didn't really do an intro on this, but we got this wall started. Got the footing dug and the block spread out. Got all our blocks stocked in the backyard there. The last wall we did is right over there on the other side of that dumpster. So this guy just wanted a wall. Got two steps in it right here. And it just goes down this one side of his property. That one is already finished. Got it all wet set. section where it's set too. Got our 10 foot gate started here. Got our column blocks nice and level. Making sure they're exactly 10 feet between them. Got our blocks here with the nails in it. Both sides here. You shouldn't be able to tell where you started and stopped on your mortar joint from your trowel so it's consistent so that it's all the same height because if it's if it goes thin at the end of each trowel mark when you're setting your block it's not very consistent so when you start you start back about two inches right here so you put the tip of your trowel about two inches back right there or so and then you spread it across and then you don't lose out on a little spare spot
got our wall up to height. We got grout coming. So the way you calculate your grout is with a six inch fence block, 120 of them is a yard. So say you have a vertical cell right here where we painted the spot on there is a vertical cell. So if it's nine rows high, that's technically four and a half block for that one vertical cell. So you just take however many block you got, divide it by 120 and that's yards. The 10 inch block, there's 70 to 75 in a yard, somewhere pretty close to that. So you count those up separate, divide it by 75. That's how many yards you need. So that's how we calculate it. Usually comes out pretty close.